Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1991, X-Men came out, which I remember playing in a comic shop called, oh, what was it, Silverback Comics or something, in a little burb of Boston, and he had the two-player cabinet in um, his comic shop, and there was also a four-player cabinet, there was a two-player and four-player cabinet of this as well, and so I remember thinking that in 1991, to release this, was it before or after, either way, it was in the same year, it was just kind of, yeah, that just did, did everything so much better than this. But anyway, I'm guessing off tangent. I've always had a soft spot for the Avengers because I've read comics since the mid-80s, American Marvel comics. I remember back then, you had East Coast Avengers and West Coast Avengers, which, if you wanted to Amer uh, invade America, would have been really easy to circumvent. Just invade via the North or South Coast. Never understood that. Anyway... In this game, the Red Skull has um, put together a team of supervillains to take over the world. See them? The presentation is, it's not bad, it's just the in-game graphics are a bit weak. Um, but yeah, it's done very comic booky, and you know, there's a lot of variety in the stages as such. What is ultimately a side-scrolling fighting game, that's cool, all kind of, you know, pastels and oil coloured out. But yeah, it's just got a really underwhelming lineup of Avengers. You've got to remember in 1991, the Avengers, which is still a very popular comic, is not like through the roof popular like it is now because of the MCU. Uh, that's a lovely screen though. MCU movies, but anyway, let's put some money in. Now, I'm running on main, so this is the two player version, but you've only got four characters to choose from Vision, who wears pants and is wearing pants, Iron Man, who's alright, I'm gonna go and Clint, you know, Hawkeye, but I'm gonna go with Captain America because I was never much of a fan of Captain America until MCU explained him what did him in such a cool way. Obviously, upped his powers a little bit through the roof, but. By assembling a team of supervillains, Red Skull seeks to conquer the world by thus conquering America. He's used his wealth to assemble his evil team. He's used a mind control machine to bring them under his power. But what did he use his money for? Now he controls their every action. He could have just said, oh, he'd come in this room and then mind powered them. Go at once, Avengers try to crush his evil scheme. <clears throat> All four of you. Scene one, the Avengers. I mean, the background have a kind of you know, comic book painted effect, but anyway, so, it's just all the sprites are so small. I don't want to sound like I'm hating on this game massive, because I did enjoy it back in the day, and there were not enough, you know, superhero games. Jump, fire, and then, and then jump and fire at the same time, and you throw your shield at them. going to be a pointless against him. I walked into that one. Crack! Whoosh! Let's go. Because, yeah, he's got a shield himself. Hey, I can go behind the bench. No, I can go through the bench. Hey, you don't need to play his vision, then. Even Captain America is intangible. Oh, that's kind of cool. I want to do my shield. It's not going to work. It's very limited moves. I'm not saying the equivalent X-Men game had loads and loads of moves. But you're Captain America. I'm supposed to be like the best at hand-to-hand -hand combat in the world. Apart from Snake Eyes and G.I. Joe. Oh, I'm dead. Money. There you go. 
it. Now, I wasn't a massive fan of... Oh no, I'm Hawkeye! Oh no! Captain America initially back in the day, but I thought he was just kind of underpowered. However, uh, I did kind of like the whole thing they did with him on the original one, Steve Rogers. I don't know if it's still canon. Retired, and then someone else took over, and then the original Bucky became the US agent. Uh, I like that. And then US agent... Or was it Bucky? I don't know. One of them... Um, oh, it's two bosses. Then became Nomad, which ran for a mini-series and like 10 issues of a, uh, a regular series. The I know it's comics, and got cancelled. But I kind of like that as well. I kind of like the whole thing, what happens to Bucky, if you know what I mean. Which they kind of did, you know, later on with the Winter Soldier quite well. And also, Hawkeye's cool in the movies and that, but when Hawkeye got really cool was um, Ultimate Marvel Universe, when it wasn't just he could use, you know, melee weapons and his bow and arrow. It was literally anything that came into his hands. Think Bullseye um, would become lethal. In fact, who would win in the fight between him and Bullseye? Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Um, so I remember an episode, or a comic I should say, where um, he's unarmed and all these people attack him, I don't know if it was Hydra or something, and they were like, ah, he's in the kitchen, you know, well, you got, haven't got your bow and arrow, you're fucked. And he's like, no, he's in the kitchen, you're fucked. I can't remember the specifics, but he's going, oh, he just exploded! So anyway, I'm waffling off tar 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 topic, Target, because I like comics. <clears throat> he's got, hey, he's Quicksilver! Why can't I play his Quicksilver? So he was a mutant, so what's he doing in here? Because Magneto was the bad guy in <coughs> the uh, X-Men game. I've got a bag of money and bugs. Our choice of enemies. I haven't got, oh, I've got a slide. I've got a run. So there's a fair few moves more than I, I thought there was. Okay, now there's a boss here, isn't there? So yeah. You cannot escape. Escape is you not as black. You will be the one escaping. No, shouldn't you be trying to kill me? I cannot but think that my bow might be a little overpowered. I'm not going to complain. What's that noise? That's not even a real word. <clears throat> that is a nice effect in the background. Like I said, that does look, you know, comic-y. Painted comic-y. That's a new phrase, I've just decided. Like I said, if X-Men was an eight, and, and then also Spider-Man, and, and then also Punisher, uh, you might have thought this was all right. I mean, if you were a massive, massive, massive Avengers fan, then what else could you play the Avengers in, apart from really shit games on the NES? And then Tunnel of Doom? On the spectrum where you were Captain America? I don't know. No parallax. Weak. But you know, change the scene. So we're in the burbs and now we're downtown. I don't, why does it always say five when I put money in? Oh, I just know that a fine green shit at me. Don't you fire that green shit at me. I mean, if you played this in the arcade, I'd love to know what you think. But then also you could argue, it's kind of underwhelming, so why did they bother porting it? Was it just hope that it's a superhero game? Them kids like those superhero games. And also, why... There we go. Why was X-Men never ported? I know it couldn't be anywhere near as good as the arcade, whether it was on the Mega Drive or <coughs> the SNES. But why did... Well, that's satisfying with that bow. Why did we never get a bloody... X-Men arcade port. Well then, to be fair, why did we never get an original Turtles arcade port? Thank you, Wonder Man. Isn't Wonder Man Death's brother? <coughs> or something. Okay, that background's really nice. I mean, it's just your standard button mash, just shoot them up in fighting game, isn't it? But at least it has variation in the stages. Nice parallax on the, uh, on the ocean. I haven't got a special weapon. Alright, that is cool. Although... Clearly out of scale. Why am I complaining? It's a coin pocket. What's it firing at me? Submarines? <clears throat> Oop, hello. Now, I do know that one of the bosses in this is a sentinel. 
So where did, who they could use in the games license come into it? One company, Data Reese, licensed this. And it's one of my, no, it's the Wasp. <coughs> um, and the other one, was it the Blob in Ultimate Marvel or something? And I don't mean Marvel Zombies here. Eight Wasps intestines, and then Giant Man bits the Blob's head off. Seriously, there's some dark moments. Anyway, yeah, so where, where did it come? Who could use what bad guys or whatever? Because obviously if you were doing the X-Men game, New Konami, you want to use... I'm pretty sure they're in, they're in it. But then if you're Data East, I never really thought that Sentinels were really enemies of... The Avengers! Let's see what they did there. <coughs> so yeah, you know what? It's fun. It's very limited for what it is. You could argue that X-Men is too. I keep comparing it because that's the main comparison, really. It is, I don't know, the background on that I do actually really like. It's more power, there you go, Sentinel. I'm just gonna do this, and if you should show happiness to walk into me, then that's your fault. Wise tactics. Oh yeah, just, I wish the main characters had a little bit more sort of animation to them, and size. Other than that, it's all right, it's all right. Bit of a weird one that you got home port. Well, that's where things, you know, because I would do this series to chuck around arcade perfect or whatever, but that's where things get a little bit funky. Die, you sentinel bastard. Die. Boom! All right, that's kind of cool. See, the scope is there. Anyway, let's have a look at the Mega Drive version. I wonder if it could be anywhere near as good as this. So here we go with Captain America and the Avengers on the Sega Mega Drive, released in 1992 may I say, and programmed by Sega themselves, I believe. Now, because of the screen resolution, you know, uh, the, the colour palette, stuff like that, we were never expecting this to be arcade perfect, particularly with how nice the backgrounds were in the arcade and that whole kind of painted effect. But it's what you can do um, to, to make at least the other parts of the game, such as the, the characters and stuff like that, closely resemble the arcade. I mean, what, what is up with his costume there? The colour, I'm pretty sure the Mega Drive has enough colours to do a decent representation of Captain America, not to make the midsection of his arms suit brown. But anyway, the speech, the music's too loud, the speech is too quiet. The speech is not really a Mega Drive's thing, but I mean, to me, let's get into it. It just, it reeks of, there you go. Kind of a right title screen. Reeks of no effort, which while, you know, there was no X-Men game port, then maybe if you make some effort, I'm gonna go with these to at least get as far as the arcade sound. It's a sound set. I don't want sound effect. Control set. No, nope, I wanted to turn up the volume and stuff like that. It's a luxury I don't get, but yeah. In the absence of um There we go, start like an X-Men port. Make some effort. I mean it, it's kind of fun, but it is, it's a very poor port of the arcade anyway. Well, let's show you, shall we? Right, see, look at Captain America. In fact, it looks like he's got the word sup written on his chest. His arms are brown. He's Captain Brown. Everyone else looks all right. We'll go with Captain America to compare him to the arcade. You're helping your lives and stuff like that with the top of the screen. It is simultaneous two players, so points for that. But assembling a team of Super Avengers Red Skull seeks to conquer the world. It gives you a title, you know, or gives you a cinematic intro like the arcade. So that's kind of cool. He's used his, his, his wealth to assemble, blah, 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 blah. Just mind wipe them in the first place, Red Skull. Is that what you normally do in comic book man? Now he controls their every action. In fact, so they're not really bad guys. They're victims, so we shouldn't be killing them, really, should we? Go once, Avengers, tried to cross his evil scheme! Help. It looks like the arcade. It's very, you know, scaled down, that picture, but they've made the effort. They've got the intro, which you would have expected and wanted, at least, if you loved the arcade. Cool. That's kind of cool. Those people. See what I mean? The music too loud and the speech is too small. Jump. Wow, his shield's got power. But yeah, look at it. I mean, it wasn't going to be able to do the sound effects, sort of pastel painted effects, sound effects, visual effects of the background. But a little bit more effort. Come on. Got a jump. Isn't his kick wrong? No, 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 my bad. All right, that was cool. It went bing, but yeah, it's just the background. It's so underwhelming. 
and just turn the music down. I mean, I kind of, I didn't hate it. Did I rent it? I can't remember, I think I rented it. He looks like the arcade. Be. He looks like a cactus and not an actual license for him. Don't disturb us. Hey, you run out of a wall. You're in another building. Why should it go well? I don't know. He just... Did he do anything okay? Throw a giant fist at me. Get some shield in your life. Now, the music's not bad. It's just too loud, but yeah. This is 1992. We're five years, at least Japanese-wise, into the life of the Mega Drive. Look at it. I mean, what combat have been out at this point? Oh, hell, going back to Tiles like Golden Axe. If anything, they could have probably done, you know, sprite wise, an improvement on the arcade. It's fun enough, though. Don't get me wrong, it plays like the arcade. It's just standard, extremely limited side scrolling fighting. And look how they fly down! Like Tuppence Hawes. I have no idea why I said top and swords, but I'm standing with luck. Now, you don't have any limitations on using your shield, so yeah, go with that. Boom, ah. It's Quicksilver, thanks. Quicksilver had an awesome fringe. Or bangs. Hey, that one killed him. Depending if you're English or North American. I personally prefer the word fringe, because bangs just sound stupid. No offense, North Americans. Hey, it seems to have the same number of bad guys on the screen, though. Yeah. I mean, I've got it on easy as well, so that's probably why. Yeah, everyone's dying piss easy, but, yeah. And then there's no parallax, but we can't really complain about that because there wasn't any parallax in the arcade. Come on, where's his bag of money? He hasn't got a bag of swag. He definitely lose points for that. You will be the one escaping. Yeah, he hasn't got your bag of swag. So that does nothing. Does he not go all whirlwindy? Oh, what? They couldn't do the whirlwind effect. That's weak. Oh, it's bombs. Avengers. Obviously, when the first movie came out, first Avengers moved from this country, the United Kingdom was called Avengers Assemble because of that god awful movie with Una Thurman and Sean Connery. Uh, the Avengers. Who remembers that? It was based on the 60s TV show, which I quite like, but the movie was pants. But I actually prefer Avengers Assemble 2. Avengers. Scene, target time, scene 2. So, you know, it does a reasonable job of following the arcade and giving you all the scenes and stuff like that. It's just the graphics, you know. I mean, even though it couldn't have done, like, pastel colours and stuff like the arcade did, it could have done a lot better than this, surely. And the sprites. At least Guy Captain America is the right colour on the screen, but yeah. I mean, I know the sprites were massive in the arcade, but... Look at them here! That were my floaty bike. Where is it? Oh, he's got to throw it to me. Who's that? Wonder Man? Hey, get on. Thank you, Wonder Man. Cap does have good manners, though, doesn't he? Look at that! Oh, God! I'm knackered with his army. We got Parallax. Blam! We've got a lot less action going on. I'm just going to stay here. And if you so happen to walk into it, then that's on you. C and A do the same thing. I can't, I have to say, Look at that, I do like the music. I just wish there was a sort of volume control on it, so. Hey, the plane's in there, and he's even smaller than the yeah, okay. But yeah, it, it just kind of drowns out everything else. I mean, if you were a fan of the arcade, uh, I know the plane's take a dance, so that's cool. If you were a fan of the arcade, oh, it just disappeared like Twilight Zone. You would have probably liked it, but i safe to say, especially in 1992, you probably would have looked and thought, really? You couldn't have done a little bit better than that? I mean, oh look at Sonic, that's 1991. I know it's not fair to compare that, but I'm talking about graphics and pushing the limits of the system. As in, yes, I know this is an arcade conversion, but try harder, boy! 
top. Yeah, you know, let's get to oh, Wonder Man. Oh no, Wasp again. I shall avenge them for eating your intestines. Even though that hasn't happened yet. And no admission. But I shall. See what I mean? I want to hear the explosions. Well, yeah, so you know, it's an adequate conversion. It just, it drops the ball because it's so reeks of just bare minimum. When, you know, in the early years of the Mega Drive, we, this is how I did the hence I touched up this series of videos. We were looking at stuff that was pushing arcade perfect. Alright. Why oh, are you pissed off? He's back. Is Wasp doing anything? Or is she just tagging along? I just realized I can collect those blue things. That's on me. Oh, it's health, I think. Avengers! Yeah, I mean, that's what I'd say when I get help. Every time I get some, as it were, I avenge it. <clears throat> okay, that looks cool because we've got parallax going on behind it. What does the Sentinel look like? Come on, come on, be on the money. Hey, you know what? It's alright. I'll kill you all, it's just me and me. Behaves like the arcade, it's a little bit smaller. That's alright. I think that's probably the best looking thing graphically I've seen in this game. He just fisted me. Awkward. There we go. I mean, yeah, it's a very, very underwhelming, bare minimum port of the arcade, but essentially it's all in here. Anyway, I had to do because I like video, I like superhero video games. I'd love to know what you think. Did you have this back in the day? Did you love the arcade? Did you love the arcade when this came out on the Mega Drive? Did you just think, oh dear. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.